Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side versus Endeavor OS 22.6 on the right hand side. So both the latest releases, both running the XFCE desktop environment, but uh, uh, you can be excused for not realizing that they are the same. They do look a bit different the way that they've been customized. So what I'd like to do firstly is before I use any RAM up, I want to show you guys how much RAM each of these operating systems are using roughly on boot up. Take it with a grain of salt, but uh, Linux Mint is about 560 megabytes of RAM as it shows there, and Endeavor OS is about uh, 590 megabytes of RAM there. So about 30 megabytes more, probably worth it, and I'll show you why in a moment. But starting off, we'll have a look at the both of the desktop environments. Now on the left-hand side for Linux Mint, we're clearly using uh, a bit of a, uh, a Linux Mint theme. We've got the, the green icon sets, we've got the backdrop, we've got the icon for the start menu, we've got the gray taskbar down the bottom. Uh, and we'll have a look at the Endeavor OS side of things here as well. So still, again, it does look, I, I really enjoy the way that they've set up the XFCE start menu. So. Technically, it's the same as the uh, Linux Mint one with the categorization of apps and the ability to search for things. It's just a little bit more refined and more beautiful the way that it looks there. So I'm really, really quite proud of that there. And let's see. So Endeavor OS, yeah, a bit of a wallpaper background. I'm enjoying the translucent uh, taskbar down the bottom there as well. Just looks nicer there in general. If we right click, we'll see the same basic options for the context menu there as well. We will jump into the aforementioned file manager there. Now, I I enjoy them both. They're both nicely clean cut. Of course, Linux Mint continues with the green theme there. On the right hand side, uh, Endeavor actually has, speaking of translucent from the translucent from the taskbar down below, we've got the translucent uh, moving of windows, which is pretty cool there as well. I do enjoy that. You can turn it off, but I like it. And you've got this semi-dark mode, which I'm always a fan of. It's just easier on the eyes, basically, there. It just, just feels nice. You can sort of, um, you know where to look a little bit faster to uh, within milliseconds. It's just a nice little thing. But they are much of a muchness the way that they work. The same basic options there. And you can open a terminal if you wanted to there as well. Uh, let's see. We will move to the, uh, the back end and have a bit of a look at the back end here. And we can see some differences here. So Linux Mint 21 is actually based off Ubuntu 22.04, the long-term service release. So what this means is that you'll get updates for the next five years or so, which is good to see. And we are running on the 5.15 kernel uh, in line with the latest Ubuntu release there, of course. So this is this is not the latest uh, Ubuntu kernel, uh, sorry, <laughs> Linux kernel, but it is still one of the later and greater ones. And on the right-hand side, Endeavor OS. Now we are actually running on Arc Linux, uh, so as opposed to Ubuntu as the back end. And Arc Linux is, let's just say, pretty much bleeding edge. I haven't seen a later kernel on an operating system, uh, apart from any Arc one. So 5.19. So this is going to help support your latest drivers, graphics cards, uh, you know, CPU, microcode, GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, mouse and audio cards, all sorts of things. So that, that's really nice to see that you've got this later and greater one. Technically, this one on the left, Linux Mint, could be considered more stable. It could be. But uh, yeah, Arc's doing really well on that front there. That's really, really nice to see. I think that I might actually move to this operating system sooner or later. It's just quite beautiful the way that it is. And uh, let's see what else. So we'll have a look at the, the software managers for each of them. This is where you get all your software, and you know what? I don't even know where to get the software from on the uh, Endeavor. It should be here somewhere. I'm going to have to do a quick little search and see if I can find it, but I won't waste too much time on this one there. And I don't know. Let's go to software token. No, not really. The thing with Arc Linux is it's, it's designed for a more high-end user, a technical user, so you will find that a lot of people prefer to just install things in the terminal there. But we, uh, actually, let's just type in package. Archive manager, no, that's not it. Software, no, so nothing that I can see, which isn't very user-friendly. Uh, of course, Linux Mint 21 is designed to be a little bit more down to earth and easier to use for for newcomers to Linux in comparison there, but uh, unfortunately that's 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 about what it is there. So I'll leave it there for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. 
please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.